Since the Supreme Court struck down the right to seek an abortion last year, health providers across the country say there is more interest in vasectomies as birth control, and there are efforts to make the procedure more accessible. Communities correspondent Gabrielle Hayes spoke with doctors and patients in Missouri, which is where she's based. Gabby, I want to get to your conversations in a bit, but first, is there data, are there hard, hard numbers to illustrate this? Yeah, there absolutely is. You know, we got a, a bit of a peek of what that looks like earlier this year when researchers from the Cleveland Clinic released data that essentially shows that nationally we saw um, more than a 30 percent increase in requests for vasectomies um, and then a more than 20 percent uh, increase in, in people actually, you know, going through with the procedure. But I think, you know, when we talk about the state of Missouri, providers here tell me that they've seen an increase here as well to the point where they have been working even at more than a year later after the Dobbs decision um, to bring more access to the procedure to the uninsured and underinsured. And tell us about the situation in Missouri, where, which is where you are now. It's important to note that um, almost immediately after this Dobbs decision came down last year that Missouri essentially made it illegal to get an abortion in the exception, the only exception was a medical emergency. And so providers tell me that, um, you know, they saw the number of people getting vasectomies um, rise as much as 100 percent last year. You know, for instance, a perfect example would be um, Planned Parenthood held a three-day vasectomy clinic in three different cities across the state of Missouri um, that was open to 100 people. 100 people signed up, 91 of them, I'm told, actually followed through and got the procedure. So they say that the need is exponential, but not just in Missouri. It's We're, we're talking about states surrounding Missouri and part, other parts of the country. Um, I spoke to a doctor, Dr. Escar Garin, also known as Dr. G, who has a mobile clinic in Iowa. He came from Iowa to St. Louis to help with the um, with vasectomy patients last week. And he tells me, even in his state where he is with his mobile clinic, he drives all over the state in order to bring access to people not only looking for the procedure in his state, but people coming from out of state to get it as well. So normally I was doing uh, not that many, 40, 45 vasectomies uh, in a month. And then within the first 48 hours, 20 people signed up. And we saw a, a bump of 100% in the number of vasectomies that we did in July of 2022. Uh, and that trend continued for three more months. And uh, eventually it kind of came down. But at this moment, ever since the Roe v. Wade was overturned, I can tell you that we have not gone back to the pre doves decision numbers. Uh, so I can tell you that at least for our clinic, a 30 to 50 percent overall increase in the numbers uh, we've noticed since then. So it was a big impact. Dr. G made it clear to me that even in those 48 hours post the Dobb decisions last year, he saw a, a 300 uh, person increase in just traffic to his website alone. Um, he's in Iowa now still performing vasectomies and is about to head out of country. And so far, he says he's performed at least 5,000 vasectomies in his career. And Gabby, in addition to providers, you spoke with patients as well. What did they tell you? For one, the patients that I spoke to who got the procedure last year, who got it this year, say um, that they, this is something that they had been thinking about for a long time, right? They just were trying to figure out what access would look like. You know, one person I spoke to last week told me that he got it after the Dobbs decision because he was afraid that at some point maybe the option wouldn't be available to him in the future. Uh, but then you have other folks, like a, another person I spoke to last week who got the vasectomy last week who said, you know, his decision to get it wasn't a direct result of Dobbs, but he understood how people could make that connection and further just the mere access to being able to get a vasectomy, he said, is a basic human right. And so that's why he got it. But providers also tell me, you know, the, the access to them is important because they hear from patients that um, there are some doctors who won't do it for patients because they say they may change their mind later. Communities correspondent Gabrielle Hayes. Gabby, thanks a lot. Thank you.